Welcome back to the Rubik's Cube series. All right, so you've oriented yourself with the colors, the um, notation a little bit, but don't worry, you'll need that more later on. I just think it's a good idea to start familiarizing yourself with uh, the notation for the algorithms, when you will need the algorithms, and when it's no longer as intuitive um, as the start. All right. Now, you've got the cross here. That's where we left off. This is the exact same cube, exact same solve, even. Um, all right, so let's see here. What do we have? Where we got here like this. So we're going to look for the white corners. All right. So let's see here. What do we have here? We have two of the three scenarios. You can have, uh, actually, we have four of the five, now that I think about it. Um, yeah. Anyway, we've got some of the cases for it. Don't worry about that too much. Let's just get into it. All right, so you have this. This actually is the easiest one to put in because it's not facing down. It's already on this bottom layer, and that one's also easy. This one here is ready to be slotted in. Now, it doesn't go up here. See, it needs to go in between green and orange. This is blue and orange. Where is green and orange? Well, that's over here. Okay, now we're here. And it's in position now to be put in. So if it, it's facing this way, you're good to go. And it's going in here. If it's facing to the side. If it's facing you, you're going to do this move, but instead of sliding it home, you'd send it away again. So then, right, so it's like this. If it's like this, actually, I don't do this anymore, this way anymore, so but forgive me, I'm actually a little bit rusty. Um, so, all right, so if it's like this, you put it in actually just by sending it away and then bringing this down and then bringing it back and putting it in. Before, it was like this, where it was facing that way, so you bring this down and then you bring it back over. Um, let's just keep doing them. It's hard for me really to describe them, um, better than what I'm doing, but I will try my very best. Um, see, I do F2L, which is I do the first two layers at the same time. I do the cross and do the first two layers, but don't worry about that. We'll get into that in another video. Um, okay. So this is lined up here, and it's the case where it's facing to the side. So we just pull it down and then bring it back across, and then it goes up, and then it, it's in there. All right. Um, all right, so we have two cases here that are actually kind of annoying. This one's facing down, which is the only case that you're going to have to alter it to create that ca the case that you want. All right, so you're going to put it under where you want to go. And, I mean, you have options. You could either put it here and create, I mean, that case where you're going to want to, you're going to send it away again. Um... Right, you can do that, or you can, um, let's see, you know, how do I, there we go, 
go. Okay, so I created that case there again. So you could do that, or you could treat it as if it was over here, which in that case, then you could do like, uh, like, geez, now I gotta figure out how to do it with my left hand. Um, no. Um, twice, and then, and then you back over, and then it's over here. I always keep it in the right area because I'm right-handed, but you can just do the reverse like what I did there. Okay, I'll do this one. So it's away, so we can just put it down and then bring it over. I just did a finger flip there, and then I brought bring it up. All right. Uh, the next one here uh, is in there, but it's not oriented correctly. So we're going to bring it down, and we're going to put it across. Then we're going to line it back up. Uh-oh. It's facing down. So what do we do? Bring it down and do twice. And then pull it back over. And now it's just ready for good old-fashioned slotting in. Like that. Alright. So we've got that there. And, I mean, that's pretty much it that you have to deal with for that. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, let's just... Mm. All right, let's see what I'm going to do here. I don't even know what I'm doing right now. Okay, that's fine. And then... I don't even... I know what I want to do. Alright, let's see if I can just do it by doing that, and then... Alright, now you might get this case, which is annoying, where you have... This works, this works, alright, so they're just in the wrong positions. I'm just trying to create more cases, and then we'll, we'll do them. Um, mm, alrighty then, um... This one goes over, where does it go? It goes over here. So it's facing down. So pull, bring it across twice, boom. And then you bring this back over to being lined up again. And then you bring it down, go old fashioned sliding in. Don't know why I'm calling it good old fashioned, but I am. And that's how it's gonna be. All right, so it's here, so you're gonna send it away and then you're going to pull this down and then you're going to put that back in okay there's that one so now this one is easy to do so you just bring it over here where you can do the good old fashioned slotting in boom 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 all right now by doing that I don't know if you noticed, but I didn't know it was going to happen because I didn't really think about it. But it ended up actually fixing this one and changing it from being down to actually a case that I wanted to do more of, which is the one here where you just put it away, pull it down, and then back across, and then up. And that's really all it is to the, to the corners there. Um... So yeah, so let's recap. So you've oriented yourself with the uh, colors of the cube. You're starting to get a little bit familiar with the uh, notation for the algorithms. And you've learned now how to put in the corner pieces for the beginner method. Next is putting in these edge pieces, these edge pieces which will complete F2L, which stands for first two layers. But I do it all in, at the same time. We'll get there. We'll get there. All right, see you in the next video.